Yo guys, it's Arcade. If you still cannot make chord progressions and melodies, this video is for you. Today I'm gonna show you how to make chords and melodies without really knowing music theory. And we are going to do that by using the Instacord 2. So Instacord 2, as the name suggests, helps you create chords and chord progressions. First, I'm going to show you how to set it up, and then we are gonna actually use it to make a little song with chords, bass and melody. So let's get to it. If you want to get it yourself, link is below, so check it out. So what I really like about this is, first of all, you can make it your own. Not every chord progression will be the same. You can generate chord progressions with AI as well. So you can definitely experiment with this a lot. So to set it up, what we need is Instacord in here and another plugin like Nexus. This is how to set it up with third-party VSTs. I'm also going to show you how to set it up with FL Studio plugins, which is a bit more complicated, but the third-party plugins are really simple. All you need to do is go to your plugin. For example, we have Nexus here. Go into wrapper settings right here and set the input port to one or any number that you choose. And then go to your Instacord. Again, go here to wrapper settings and set the output port to one. Now these two are connected. What we need to do is make sure we have an action here that will actually play something. So as you can see, on the left side you have the chords and on the right side you have the actions. So I'm gonna select action one and go right here to choose what action it will be. So for example, hit all six. So this will hit all six keys. You can see this is picks A and picks B and you can also see it down here on your keyboard. So if we press the first note in picks A, it will play the first action. And that is our chord. Of course, we can go to Nexus and change the sound, for example, a piano, and then it will play the piano. So you can also play it on your MIDI keyboard if you have one, or on your actual keyboard on your computer as well. So this is how you connect it with another plugin and have it play a chord. Of course, that's just a start. So to connect it with an FL Studio plugin, let's take a look at that because that is a bit more complicated because FL Studio plugins don't have the wrapper settings. So you don't have any input and output ports, but it is still possible. And I think the best way to do it is to use Patcher. So just add a new plugin and add Patcher. Now in here, we are going to put Flex, for example, which is an FL Studio plugin. And we are also going to put Instacord in here, Instacord 2, put it in here. And now detach this and detach this and just go, the blue line goes to Instacord, then it goes to Flex and then Flex, the yellow line goes to FL Studio. This is how you set it up. Again, add your action and it's not going to play right away. You still need to go to Instacord and then go to wrapper settings and change the output port to two, for example, any number will do. And now if we do press the note and we have an action here, it's gonna play the flex sound. Now, if you wanna change the sound, just double click on flex. So maybe we do piano, electric piano. And we have that working with FL Studio plugins. So now that you understand how to set it up with third party plugins and FL Studio plugins, we can take a look at how to use it. So I already explained the basics, which is, you have your chords here and your actions here. So let's generate a chord progression. So I'm just gonna do F major and press generate. And if I like the chords, I can choose to send it to chords A. And if I don't, I can generate more. So for example, this one, send it to chords A. And now we can actually play the chords and play the actions. So now what happens is you play the chords A in here, as you can see chords A, and then the actions in here. So I'm just doing it with my mouse. You can of course do it in piano roll. So we are starting at C3 and then our actions are on C5. To check this, you can see it here. Chords A is C3 to B3 and picks A is C5 to B5. And you can see here we have chords A and chords B and then picks A and picks B. So to make this a bit easier, we can move chords A closer to picks A. To do that, we just need to change chords B to something else and then change chords A to C4 to B4. Now you can see it here, we have it closer. So if you have a smaller keyboard, you can play it together. And now in piano roll, we have the chords from C4 to B4 and the picks from C5 to B5. So yeah, I hope you understand. So now we can actually play the chords. We can do it just in order. And if we wanna make a rhythm here, we can make a rhythm. So again, we are using this action, hit all six. So it's gonna hit all six keys from the chord. 
Now we can also change the chords manually. For example, this one is the same, the fourth one. So we can choose a different one. You can see the green letters. Those are the ones that you can use and stay within the same key. So we can do like D and still be within the same key. Okay, another thing we can change is add more actions and there's a lot of them here. So when I go to second action, for example, we can choose arpeggios, a lot of arpeggios, strums, riffs and legacy picks. So when you take a look at the riffs, you have number one, A to G, the number two, A to G. So this just means the first one is the basic one and the like F1 is the most complicated one. So to play the riffs, of course, I put this on second action. So it's going to be the second key of the keyboard. So C sharp. So then we just do this, right? So the first one will be the same. And then we have this riff. And if you like any particular chord, you can actually also drag it from here. Just press drag and put it in Nexus. And then you have the chord that is playing the whole time, right? So you also can get the MIDI from there. So yeah, you can generate chords, you can pick between different actions, and then you can also use a lot of presets, a lot of pre-made chords and actions in here. So we can take a look at the presets. So you can play it on your keyboard, of course, press the chord note, as you can see, these are the chord notes, and then these are the actions. And then we just play it. So yeah, that's essentially the main features of this plugin. Of course, there's more like changing the octaves, transposing it and making your own custom chords if you want to but you can explore more on your own. Now let me show you how to actually use it in a proper song. So I created this beat. Well, I just mostly used a loop, but we are actually gonna add chords, bass and melody while using the Instacord. So here's how to do it. So again, I have some sounds already from Nexus. This chill pad, then this piano, this bell and this sub bass. So here is my Instacord and I'm going to use a preset here. So I like this one. So as you can see, we have a lot of chords set up here already. Now what we need to do is of course change output port to one on Instacord and then change input port to one on whatever sound we want to have it controlling. So this chill pad is going to be controlled by Instacord, but also this piano. So I'm going to change the input port on the piano to one as well. So now the Instacord plugin is controlling these two sounds, right? So what I want, I don't want this strum pattern. So instead I'm going to change this action to legacy picks hit all six. So I just want straight up chords. Just like that. Now I'm going to create a chord progression. So again, you can check it here. Chords are from C3 to B3 and picks are from C5 to B5. So just go to Instacord, piano roll, find C3 and make the chord progression. And then So we can also make this shorter. So yeah, I like this chord progression. We could try a different one as well. So maybe we can actually use that later. So like this. So there's our chord progression, just like that. And now we also want the bass, of course. What I'm going to do is clone the Instacord and change the output port to two and then go to the base and change the input port to two. So always have the same numbers when you want to connect two sounds. So now this Instacord affects the bass, but we don't like this. We don't want all six notes. Like we just want the bass note. So what you're going to do is change the hit all six action to single first note. So first note is the bass note usually of the chord, right? 
And we can also put it octave lower. No, it's good. And now we pretty much copy the same chord progression that we created in Instacord with the chords into the bass. But what I want to do here is different rhythm, right? And there we have that. Now let's preview the sounds with the bass. Now that we have the chords and the bass working, we can add the melody. So now, how do you do that? So all you need to do is go to Instacord, check your scale, which is D major here. That is the scale of this preset. If you generated your own chords here, the scale will be whatever you set it to. So that's up to you when you generate your chords. But this one was D major. So all we have to do is go to the melody, sound, and go to piano roll, go to view, scale highlighting, right click on major, and right click on D and that's it. Now your grid is set to D major and all of the highlighted notes, those are the lighter ones, are the notes in D major. That means they will work with these chords. So again, you can just make a melody using the highlighted notes, you cannot go wrong there. So now that we have this song, one more thing we can do is transpose it. So for example, I feel like it could be higher, so I'm going to transpose it by two. Just press twice, one, two. Do the same for the second instacord, one, two. But do the same for the melody as well. Go to your piano roll, hold shift, and arrow up twice, one, two. And now the whole song is transposed by two keys, so it's gonna be two keys higher. And there we have it. That's how you use it in a proper song with the chords, the bass and the melodies. So that is Instacord. It can definitely help you make chord progressions really fast. And it's also good for arpeggios and stuff like that, because in the actions, you also have a lot of arpeggios, drums and riffs. If you want to check it out yourself, link is in the description below. You can try it out for free. But other than that, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.